welcome back guys, JC here. Uh, so this video is going to be talking about flight modes. What are they? How do they work? How to uh, set them up? I know this is a very basic video for a lot of you, but I try to make content that covers everyone, whether it's day one or you've been in the hobby for years. So uh, this video is going to be for you newer guys. So if we go to modes, the first thing we need to know is to be able to have all three flight modes, you need to have the accelerometer enabled. Because with it disabled, you only have one flight mode, which is acro, which is the hardest one. To enable the accelerometer, go to configuration, scroll down, and turn it on right here. Save and reboot. And now we see it's enabled. Then if we go back to modes, we now get horizon, or well, angle, horizon, and we don't see it, but acro and like I said acro is the hardest. The reason we don't see acro is because if you do not have angle or horizon selected then acro is automatically selected. If we click add range this will allow us to pick which auxiliary channel the switch is on that we want to use to change between flight modes. I'm not going to cover how to create switches but if you do have a free sky Tyrannus or a turn G evolution I have covered uh, how to make switches so if you look in the description below I'll place my playlist to both of those transmitters and even if you use a different transmitter you can still watch either one of those videos and uh, you should get the idea so now I'm going to pick my auxiliary channel that the switch is on that I want to use for my flight modes and for me I place it on auxiliary 3 so if I flip the switch uh, we see this little tick mark moving and preferably you want this on a three-way switch that way you can have three different flight modes using only one switch so first up we have angle this is going to be the easiest flight mode um, it's it's not going to I can't say self level but it's going to give you as much assistance as possible using the gyro and accelerometer in you know combination with some other it's like one big algorithm think of it that way and it's doing its best to cor correct your mistakes. You also need to know that uh, in angle mode, it's not going to allow you to go past a 45 degree angle, which means you cannot do any flips or rolls. Um, you can put your pitch or roll stick all the way to the ends, and it will go to that 45 degree angle and then stop. And this does make it much easier to fly. That's, that's why it's the easiest. So to select angle, we want to uh, place the switch wherever you want the switch for angle. It could be right here, it could be in the middle, it could be up here, it doesn't matter. Uh, so say you do want your switch right here, we'll just slide this, and I'm going to bring this in a little bit, just because my OCD kicks in, and uh, that's good for me. Or if you want it right here, it's going to be the opposite, you can just slide it right there. Now for horizon, uh, this is going to be a mixture of angle and acro. Whenever your sticks are kind of close to the center, it's going to fly much like angle by using the gyro and accelerometer to uh, give you as much assistance as possible. But if your sticks go closer to the ends and the edges, it will allow you to do a flip or a roll. And then after it does a flip or roll, you can move your sticks towards the center again, and it's going to go back into that self-leveling type of flight mode. So once again I'm going to uh, place my switch into a different position. I'll just use this one and you don't have to slide this in I just do it because it's like a pet peeve of mine and that's it. Now if we flip the switch one more time we see that these little tick marks aren't underneath angle or hor horizon and like I said before, if you have neither one of these selected, then that means acro is automatically selected. So technically, we are in the acro flight mode right now. Acro is the hardest to fly, but if you watch all these really neat uh, freestyling and racing videos, this is what this is the flight mode that those guys are using. Once you get the hang of angle, and then you move to horizon, and then once you master horizon, you can move to acro. And acro is basically going to give you, there is no assistance whatsoever. It's basically the hardest to fly, but it's the most rewarding because it allows you to do anything you want. And normally that would wrap up the video, but I like to go into super detail. So I'm going to give you one last tip before I leave. 
Once you feel like you've mastered angle and horizon and you are flying in acro and you only use acro, you no longer want angle or horizon, you might as well turn off the accelerometer. And the reason I say this is because your CPU load, you want this to be as low as possible. Um, I would say a good percentage would be 35% and below. And uh, on this specific flight controller I'm using right now, even with the Excel rounder enabled, I am below 35%, so I am good, but um, like I said, lower is better. So say I've gotten to the point where I'm only flying in acro mode, I no longer use angle or, or horizon. Then we will go back to, well, let's save it first. Now I'll go back to configuration. And if I disable the accelerometer, and then go back and take a look at the CPU load, we're now at 17 to 18%, which is better than the 32% it was at. And if we go back to modes, we no longer see angle or horizon. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope this helped you out. Um, I'll leave you some videos in the description below. Check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.